So let's talk about the model factory generate command in the new level 5.5. So with that, I am your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about level and the cool thing about level. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> okay, and let's see how we can use that. So firstly, I will go to terminal and I will say php artisan list so it will list out the commands for us and here we can see make factory command is here it's not present in the level 5.4 but in the level 5.5 it's here so let's search for this uh, help and I will say make factory and yes it will give these things so it will have the name it required the name then we can use this thing but we don't need that so let's first see what is that factory so if you have familiar with this database seeding then you have familiar with this factory I will delete this okay so now you can see this is the factory and this is useful when you want to seed database that means you want to have the dummy data in your database to check your system whatever you have created uh, dummy data or the fake data you want to create so this is simple in Laravel 5.4 or previous versions because you only have one file <laughs> folder name is factories but you have only one file here but if you want to create a new factory let's say you have a new uh, model php artisan make model called admin uh, this is admin <laughs> and create migrations also okay so we have this uh, user above user there is an admin model also for us and we want to create a new factory for that for so what you will do you will copy and paste that command and instead of this you will say admin and the fields you want to give so let's do one thing close this uh, open migration copy this users paste it here on the admin so our admin table is exactly same as the migration for the user okay so let's first migrate so that we can have the admin table in our uh, database so let's first see yeah I have connection so let's say PHP artisan uh, migrate and hit enter and yes it's migrated let's go refresh and yes we have admins table here so here we want to give the data so how will we give we have created the factory here you can see we have this factory so let's open open tinker so php artisan tinker and we will say factory no factory factory and inside here i will say app slash admin and i want to create 15 admin users and let's create first so you can see we have these 15 commands and 15 users and 15 admin users are here this is okay for level 5.4 and previous but here it's quite confusing what if we have a new file for admin so for that thing we have new command called php artisan make factory and factory name is admin factory simple and very simple hit enter and now we have admin factory factory oops <laughs> I think I have to change its name okay simply only admin factory so I have this admin factory here and the username is only admin not admin factory <laughs> okay so because it's new so I also have to see how it's work okay so we have to create this factory here so what I will do I will create everything from here even I can copy these things also so here it is and I will paste it here and now as before we have created let's see we have these things let's delete everything 
so that we can see the changes okay and now again I will go to tinker and again I will create admin this time this time let's say only five create and it's now created and here it is and let's again delete this so whenever you want just testing purpose so instead of create command let's use make command so what this will do and if we hit enter then yes it's exactly looking same but when you go to your database there is no data here so it's just for checking so we just want to check so it will now check it it will not going to save these things on the database so that will be a bonus <laughs> for this episode and you can see with this thing yeah we have exactly another factory which is now very useful for managing your other factories so if you have lots and lots of models lots and lots of tables then you will have lots and lots of factories and you know each factory is related to only one table okay so in that case that will be very easy so this is the model factory generate command and if you have any problem feel free to comment me like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram don't forget to subscribe and please support bitfumes for on patreon so that i will continue making videos for you in different categories for the web development so we will meet in the next episode with some new awesome thing about level 5.4 and goodbye.